what is up planet it is the priest and i'm back with another pick a card reading in today's reading we're going to be looking at the current energy for your love life and also what is coming next in love for you so if you guys are new to the channel don't forget to subscribe to become a part of the tarot tribe and if you're looking to book a reading or any information that i have going on you can find that in the description box down below or my website thetarotpriest.com last but not least don't forget to follow me on instagram the tarot priest is pretty much spelled out the exact same way um, so make sure that you're using discernment if anyone reaches out from a page that is not me so we have three different decks that you can choose from you're going to just choose the deck that you feel like is resonating with you or pulling towards you we have deck number one we have deck number two and deck number three all right, if you guys was deck number one, this is your reading and what is coming next in love for you. We have the mirror, other lives, past lives, dimensional lives. We have door to value, door to personal healing and happiness. And let's see, lead. All right, let's get some clarity. All right, let's see what's gonna come next for you in love, deck number one. I'm already sensing that spirit is going to be probably giving you some type of vision or some type of insight as to who your soulmate is or who the one for you is. If you guys chose this deck, it's almost like spirit wants you to see more value um, because you it feels like you're attracting someone, but let's get the current energy for deck one in love okay we have the three of swords we're going to take up all upright okay that's usually something that isn't working out or maybe has had some complications in the past with the three of swords it's, this is usually someone that you would be connected to in a deep way in a deep loving way we also have seven of wands which could be stress okay so this current energy in love is seeming to be yeah even feeling like maybe you don't want to have to compete for for someone or a relationship right now in your love life let's see why seven of wands is here because that's usually the competition knight of swords and the ten of pentacles okay so what is next in love if you guys are in a relationship i'm sensing that there is going to be some type of revelation in your love life regarding what you deserve okay because that's what i'm getting here um, i'm also seeing the ten of pentacles which is a good sign because we have the ace of pentacles which feels like it's a, a commitment here okay but we have surrender i am ready to let go with self-compassion and transformation i feel like those of you who are single you are going through a transformation so that you can see just how much you deserve in love so that you can attract the right person here okay i do sense that i'm just going to kind of go off on this storyline because i'm sensing that there is going to be a commitment here after some type of rest period i feel like it could have been a struggle in your love life could be a struggle or feel like it's a struggle to connect let's just clarify why the three of swords is here current energy and love for deck one three of swords why is the three of swords here three of swords five of swords it's definitely something um that has bought, brought some some conflict in your heart okay the five of swords this i feel like it could just be your love life in general that's f making you feel some type of con like conflict here but i'm seeing after a resting period the wheel of fortune is in your favor it's almost like spirit just wants you to see your value so that you can attract a a matching a match is what they're saying okay rebuild now if you are already in a relationship you guys could be rebuilding towards something a lot more stable okay i am seeing that so if you're in a relationship right now what's happening next in your love life is you guys will both go through the transformation and sometimes that's why you know relationships when they're in a transformation they have to separate because it is a lot to evolve why you are committed to somebody so most of the time it does separate so those of you who are in a relationship i do see a transformation for the purpose of rebuilding on something much more stable now if you're single i feel or or if you're conflicted 
okay, single and conf or even conflicted in general with love, something is changing drastically here for you. But it's happening after this death. It's happening after something that you let go of. Okay, there's a transformation here. Um, it's it's something about your value in attracting what you deserve. Okay, so yeah, it's gonna come after a growth period here. What's next in your love life? I'm sensing that you are attracting a committed partner. Okay, let's get this information because it's flying out. Hermit, Virgo. So you guys could be a Virgo. You don't have to be. We do have a lot of earth energy here. Um, technically, we have a lot of everything. Mostly, it's gonna be air sign. So if you're an Aquarius, Gemini, or Libra, that's definitely here too. You are learning your value so that you can manifest the right person. Someone who's going to bring you compassion and love and, and stability. So you guys are definitely going through a hermit time right now. What's next in your life is you're going through this hermit mode. Um, and through this hermit mode, let's see what you're doing. All right. At the bottom, we have intuition. Okay. So the wheel is in your favor. You will have success in this next period of your love life. But what's coming like next next is definitely hermit. Um, hermit mode spirit wants to bring some revelation so that you're not attracting this, this people that are not on the right frequency. You're evolving. So your, your partner and the match for you is evolving as well. You are both going through a transformation. I see that you're 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 attracting someone who is literally going through some of the same things. So you'll know because you'll say, wow, I went through that too. I had a crazy period in my life and they will resonate. That's who you're attracting. But it's the next version of you. OK, in this person. OK, we have sex at the bottom and we have alone time. OK, so spirit is definitely also saying that what you're doing in the meantime, because that's the question, is you might just be open to pleasure. OK, and there's nothing wrong with that. And I feel like actually spirit wants you to be open um, to just pleasure in general. OK, feeling good about yourself, feeling good about connection so you can get it seems like more comfortable with that. But in the meantime, we have the hermit, which is alone time. OK, build strength. So you're rebuilding your confidence. Okay, in this next period of your love life, which I feel like you've been doing very well at. I also feel really good vibes here with what's coming in for you because of the work that you're doing. Okay, and it doesn't have to be work. I hate that word work. It's more of just like play. Honestly, it's not work. It's play. It's how can you find a, a, a space in your life to be higher vibrational so that you can manifest a higher vibrational person because this next person coming in, they are higher vibrational. For you to get there, it's going to it's going to take some time, a long time. Okay. All right. Anything else for what's next in love? Now, if a person comes out, which is a page, a knight, a king or a queen, that would mean that that person is very near or this is the person that we're channeling their energy of. Okay. So let's see what's next in their love life for deck one. Thank you. Okay. We have the devil Capricorn energy. So yeah, spirit wants you to learn independence and again that word work and learn like it's not really learning it's just being free okay um being free from feeling like you need someone because the devil is usually coming out with codependency you are attracting harmony in your life with the four of wands this would be like marriage and commitment and it's on top of the ten of pentacles you are manifesting that it's going to come in very quickly after you take this time okay so you're surrendering and you're following the door to your own personal healing and happiness Okay. Knight of Cups. Yeah, there you have it. Remember I said if a person comes up, there you have it. So someone is coming in with an offer. Okay. Could be a, a water sign. Could have water in their chart. Pisces. Okay. Scorpio, Pisces, and Cancer energy. Now this Knight of Cups, I'm picking up their energy. This is going to be a very playful so you will not attract them in a, in a place of stress, okay? So that's another thing. They are coming in with an offer. I see that it's a strong offer here. Um, let's see when this is happening. Like, let me just get some, some energy. Five of Cups, okay. So what you're waiting for is to come out of this energy so that you can manifest this new person. So what's currently happening in your love life is that you could be conflicted. You could be just maybe discouraged. Okay, sometimes there's discouragement, there's definitely heartbreak, there's definitely back and forth here um, with it could be with relationships with yourself. There's a resting period here that you're going through, but you're attracting someone with a past life connection. This is going to be someone who has a lot of emotions for you, and it feels like a teenage love. 
you know like when you're in high school and you just want to talk to them you want to be with them that's the type of person that's coming in with the knight of cups they're very um in tune with their feminine energy they're compassionate um and they're offering you their cup okay so it could be a woman could be a man depending on what it is that you're looking for it doesn't matter but this knight happens to be a woman as well so what we're waiting for right <laughs> is all of this okay but we have this deck here worth waiting for. It's crazy because it says divine timing is at work in your love life. And I'm still going to shuffle, but it's just crazy that it's at the bottom here. So we have the regret card, the five of cups going back over some decisions, the two of swords, not sure which way to go, which decisions to make. We have the strength card, um, not wanting to be alone, you know, wanting to share life with someone and, and really desiring that. And I definitely feel like that's coming in for you. You're learning how to build strength on your own. Okay, so let's just see. What else is coming next in their love life? Okay, strength. We have Leo energy. So this is what you're waiting for is for you to kind of get into a good space to even receive this person. Love. What's happening next for deck one and love? I'm lucky you found me. New love at the bottom of the deck. Okay. A new person has stirred your romantic feelings. I definitely feel like someone new is coming in. Thank you, Spirit, for confirming, but I definitely felt it. I can feel the energy. It feels really good, but you're rebuilding yourself. You're rebuilding your confidence. You're rebuilding your courage, your strength. You're going through a transformation. But I do see that you'll either have a dream or vision kind of about this. But what Spirit wants you to know, most importantly, to manifest this person is that you're worthy. Okay, otherwise, that's crazy. Look at the back of it. Worth waiting for. Divine timing is at work in your love life. Okay, new love. I'm lucky you found me. So this is going to be not something that you're going to have to do. You're not going to have to go out and find this person. Okay, out of all of the billions of people in the world, when two soulmates come together, a twin flame, it doesn't matter what connection, it is divinely orchestrated by the angels, by the guides, ancestors, universe, whichever you choose. Okay, but what you're going through right now is being prepared, preparing essentially for this person. Okay, this new love that's coming into your life. Now, let's look at this past energy. I just want to see what's here for this past energy. All right, what's coming in for this past energy? Okay, let's just get some clarity on this. What's preventing this new love from coming in for deck one? Thank you. And what's this past energy about? This past energy for deck one. Consciousness. What's preventing this person from coming in is your own happiness and your own joy. Finding your own joy here with innocence. Okay. We are the world and participation. Okay. All right, let's get some, one more card for the past energy here, what this is about. Understanding. Okay. Now, if you guys are in a relationship, you're still going through this transformation here. Okay. And it's definitely, I feel like majority of you guys are not in a relationship, but for those of you who may be, I'm sensing that your relationship could definitely be going to a more higher awareness, like more consciousness and uh, of understanding what this connection is for. Um, I'm definitely feeling, what do you want them to know about this past person? Okay, page of wands, seven of cups. Okay, they're an option. I definitely feel like they could have been an option. They could be an option, but I just, it's more so if you're going to want that option. Okay, the knight of wands is here too. So I definitely feel like some of you do have past energy that's coming up. So you might have someone reach out from the past, um, but I see that you're just going to have a new perspective. You will have to make a decision with the two of pentacles, but I'm sensing that even in your current life, there are options. Okay. There are options around you, but there's only one cup that you're going to want here. I do see there will be some communication here from someone from the past that maybe has interest in you that's coming through, but you'll still have to make a decision here. That's, that's what I'm seeing with the two of pentacles. So you're definitely going through a transformation and I'm feeling like if you're in a relationship, this person may be the person that I'm talking about. 
attracting in your life. You could have already felt like you attracted this person. Okay, that could be for a very, very few of you, but I'm sensing that for most of you, there's a new person coming in and spirit wants you to get closer to your door of value. So let's see what's next. Last message for what's next for deck one in love. Five of wands, yeah. There is some decisions that are gonna have to be made. We have the moon and the tower, okay? So those of you who are here, there's gonna be a decision. There's gonna be a revelation that you have, whether you're in a relationship or not, about what it is that you truly want in love, okay? Because you're manifesting it, whether you're in a relationship or not, and you desire more, another person will come in for you. Um, you, so that's why it's very important that you're honest with yourself about if this connection, if you're currently in a connection or on and off is bringing you what you're desiring, because I'm seeing somebody coming in with an offer here and it looks very strong. So those of you who are single, what's next in love is you're preparing. You're preparing for this partner that's coming in with the Knight of Cups. So it feels really, really good here. You're being asked to slow down and understand the situation. Um, a little bit more too about your love life, slowing down and understanding it from a higher perspective. So I'm hoping that this brought you guys some clarity. This is your reading for deck number one. If you guys chose deck number one, then you guys are definitely manifesting something and learning how to let go. Um, not just because you have to, but because you love yourself enough to know that there's more there's more for you. There's more that you're desiring. So if you guys chose deck number one, this is your reading. And don't forget to comment down below so I can get some words of feedback to you guys. In the meantime, I'm going to move on to deck number two. If you guys chose deck number two, this is what's next or coming next in your love life. We have the meditation, peace, relief, and sanctuary. Okay, triumph, success, patience and moving on new energy so some of you are moving on to new energy with the eight of cups here you're being asked to be patient to see what's being revealed as to what is coming next in your life but it seems like a new start okay and we also have the six of cups so this is really good walking away twice so we have walking away and moving on twice let's see what the current energy is for your love life for deck two Okay, so I'm sensing that this is time for you to gain clarity. I, I feel like maybe that's where the peace is coming from, is making a decision. Um, let's see what's current in love for deck two. What's currently happening in love? We have the king of cups. So some of you are filled, your heart is still filled with so much love. We have the three of cups, the celebration. We have the five of pentacles. Okay. And we have judgment. Okay, so I definitely feel like a decision had to be made here with judgment. Okay, this decision could have cost you to lose something with the five of pentacles here. But I'm sensing that there is a celebration coming forth. Current energy and love. Why is the judgment here for deck two? Why is judgment here? King of swords. It's like you really had to make a decision on what it is that you want and want in love. Okay, so I definitely sense that there's new energy coming in. So it's very clear that if you guys chose this deck, then you're thinking of moving on or you've moved on or something has caused you to feel like you had to move on from this situation. Okay, so we have the king of swords. A lot of you, it was just logical. It, w it had to be a logical decision due to maybe something that you felt like you were losing at the time. And we also have the Queen of Cups, okay? So this is a pretty profound connection that I'm seeing that's either here or coming in. Past connection for deck two, new connection, deck two. Yeah, I don't think you guys know this person that's coming in. Um, the new card is here. So we have a lot of cups, okay? Lots of emotion here. Pisces energy is also here, which is obviously a water sign, Pisces. Uh, Scorpio cancer okay we also have the empress here so we have definitely the past person as the empress okay so this is someone that maybe uh, you connected with maybe there was a deep connection there I'm seeing the judgment and the empress let's get some more on this past person okay two of wands yeah someone had to definitely make a decision here 
and the six of cups so there is a past person that there needed to be a decision with nine of cups okay this person at one point could have made you very happy there's a lot of feelings um this past person could have been a soulmate okay but we definitely have a lot of characters on the board so i don't feel like i feel like what's next in your love life there seems to be a lot of love here okay coming in for you now let's look at what's coming next in their love life it's causing you to have to release something to receive okay here with the four of pentacles look at that at the bottom of the deck two of cups so you're manifesting a counterpart okay those of you who did recently walk away from a situation or thinking about walking away with the two of wands i see that you're in the crossroads of manifesting a counterpart okay so this would be a soulmate we have the king and the queen of cups this is two people who mutually feel the same way the third eye is here so this would be an intuitive connection that i'm sensing that you're attracting here um a past life life partner soulmate connection there is a celebration here so i do see that uh, your family and friends would definitely love this person like there's celebrations here um, with what's coming next in love but the moon is here let's see why <laughs> i love it the moon yeah so this is like magic but look at this the scorpio energy here so another water sign but we have the death okay what is the death so yeah there's an ending that's transpiring walking away um for this new there is some communication even maybe coming in from this per person this past person okay because the death card this ending this person i mean you guys could be back and forth okay is there history with these this these two just sensing that there is yeah aquarius energy okay so i'm definitely sensing that you could still even be hopeful about this past connection okay because we do have the star card here what do you want them to know about this new connection? The magician. You're manifesting this new connection, whether you know it or not, okay? And the connection that you have with this person is ran by hope. We even have the ace of cups at the bottom. This connection that you are getting out of or having troubles with or maybe on and off with is reliant heavily on you just having hope that it will be better, become better, um, that it will work out. But I'm sensing there is a lot of love here too. Okay, with this past energy here. But this new energy, you're manifesting, it's an equal balance. Okay, it's an equal give and take. All right, let's see what they need to release to what's going on in their current love life. Harmony. Okay. Now, those of you who are in relationships, because I'm seeing moving on, walking away. Look at this at the bottom letting go Psh, couldn't make it up if i tried you know I'm, I'm trying to count everybody like okay maybe you guys are still because there's still love here like i'm still seeing that there's love here okay and and that doesn't mean that it has to be a relationship but i'm seeing that there is love here but there's also the death here it's very intense energy that i'm picking up obviously with the intensity card here um, but there is there could still be hope with this coming together um, now i wanted to say those of you who are in a relationship but i'm sensing the eight of cups so we have letting go moving on and walking away if you're in a relationship what's next in love let's just pull one card if you guys are here if they're in a relationship what's next in love the high priestess so yeah you're <laughs> wow eight of cups again two same cards letting go two of the same cards letting go twice focusing on the good whether it's taking a separation so if you guys are in a relationship right now it's still like an on it, it still feels like an on and off here with the eight of cups here or feeling like walking away or questioning it you're being asked to follow your your intuition to the truth of how you feel about this connection okay because there is a lot of love here but i'm sensing what's coming next in your love life is something you haven't experienced Okay, let's get some more energy on what's coming next. The diamond star, destiny. I focus on service and follow my higher purpose. So this new person or this new love that I'm sensing you guys are manifesting, even unknowingly, this uh, soulmate connection, this love connection, beautiful, beautiful connection. I mean, this would be someone that you have been really manifesting. You must feel very worthy of this person to receive them because they 
mirror you, okay? But they're mirroring the higher version of you, the intuitive version of you. They are in alignment or some type of pathway with your purpose. And all they want to do is love you. That's like what I'm getting, this new person. Let's get some more information on what's next in love for deck two. What's next in their love life? Three of Wands, yeah. So this is usually a departure or waiting um, for this next person. So I do see that there is some time in between uh, this person coming in. Let's get some information on that. The Lover's card, Gemini energy, but it's bound to happen, okay? This is a soulmate, the Ten of Cups at the bottom of the card. You are headed towards unconditional love, a fulfillment of a relationship and everything that you deserve is what I'm seeing for you, okay? So the Lover's is here. You're running into a soulmate, someone who mirrors you. Um, but there is a, like this period of peace and sanctuary of relief and patience um, for this person to come in. Okay, so seventh chakra. So yeah, that's all about the crown. So I definitely feel like there's some type of reveal or revelation about your love life that you either experience that is causing you to want to move away, walk away, or take some time to think and get clarity. Um, because I'm definitely sensing with the crown chakra, there is something that's being revealed to you about this new person, okay? There is going to be some type of vision or something revealed to you. All right, what's next in love? Let's get one more card. For deck two, what's next in love? Okay. Six of wands. Yeah, so this next person could definitely be or have some type of recognition. People could know them. You know, they could be someone in, in the spotlight. That's something I'm seeing too, but there's victory here with, with this person, okay? Uh, you're manifesting them, okay? You are definitely manifesting them. I don't believe that you know them with the moon card here. I believe it's a new, fresh, I even wanna say refreshing, like it's a refreshing start, okay? It doesn't have any past energy. It feels completely new. Messages in love for deck two next in love whoa so yeah that past person can definitely have patterns or you could be in a cycle or closing a cycle or you know you deserve love remember i said you must feel worthy because this person that's coming in they love so much like you're gonna feel overwhelmed okay you're gonna feel overwhelmed so we have does you deserve love let go of control issues. You are lovable. Allow this situation to unfold naturally. And this situation involves marriage. Okay. So. Many of you, what's next in love is you're going to receive what you believe you deserve. So it's very important to be honest about what you believe you deserve. You know, there's no shame. Everyone has their own limits and their own insecurities, their own self-esteem issues, as far as just being confident and deserving this love that's coming in for you. Okay. Because it does feel overwhelming with like joy and happiness. And I can sense that this could be the one person for you. Okay. This could be the one for you coming in. I feel very strongly that this situation is going to involve something very, very committed. Okay. But you would have to let go of the control issues of like feeling like you have to go find this person, feeling like you have to make this happen, wanting to know every single detail, but just trusting that it's coming and that you are manifesting it, the better you feel about yourself, okay? The more you feel good about yourself, you're manifesting this. Now, what are you doing in the meantime? And next in love, okay? Sound healing, okay? Some of you could definitely be getting into tune with some new gifts that you have. It's almost like spirit wants you to have more time because when you have more time for yourself, like you just shine. It's a different type of vibration and look to the stars. So yeah, I definitely feel like you are being guided towards somebody who you're re who you've been longing for, who you've really who you've really been desiring. Okay, so it doesn't matter what you've lost. There's so many experiences that are here for you to have. Deck two in love. Sing. Wow. Deep breathing. So some of you could definitely be manifesting um, someone who does you know have some type of it could be fame it could be a youtuber it could be a singer an artist okay i'm definitely feeling like this could be someone um who brings something out of you
okay makes you want to sing makes you want to do something different but this discovery i feel like there's a little bit of a gap before this comes in because you're clearing out some energy and making a decision not because you have to but because truly in your heart if you feel like someone is not for you you're being you're letting it go and being open to what you deserve and that takes letting go of like what's going to happen because sometimes with past people it's like okay it's it's kind of predictable because you know them there's history but with this new journey it's going to have to take you to let go of what could happen or the control for it to to actually happen so i see that you're going to have a brand new start in love here and it's going to be very successful um so that's really really good let's see what else is happening in love next more information about this new love stage in their life thank you goddess yeah i surrender to the boundless creative flow of the ocean okay and then we have the little star my inner child is whole and complete so yeah definitely doing some inner child discovering okay anything that needs to be like released before your next chapter in love starts is what you're working on right now is what i'm seeing is just preparing the last thing I'm seeing is just surrendering. We have 4-4, four, four, so you guys might see 11-4-4. Four, four, you might see 4-4-4. Four, four, four. Um, we have 14 here. So this usually, we have 41. Um, this usually means like a twin flame connection or a divine connection. Sometimes there's a lot of divinity when it comes to this. So you are attracting the one, whether it's someone that you're with and you're having complete certainty of this, or maybe you're having a revelation that there's more for you. But this this person that you're attracting here is definitely a soulmate with a past life history okay and it's going to take you having to be open in releasing to even receive them one more card in love deck two yeah so you might be creating singing tuning into it's crazy because you, you will go through this transformation and this transformation after you like find more of yourself you're actually going to attract your ver like yourself in this next person so they're mirroring like the great version of you and so for you to also mirror them you're becoming the greatest version of you in the meantime trust i guess i didn't have to shuffle forgiving and learning okay forgiving and learning now if this is a relationship that's on and off then you're definitely allowing it to clear the time for a new chapter to begin but i'm definitely sensing it says this connection is calling for you to have faith okay disconnect from the world this situation is calling for you to have faith so your love life is calling for you to have faith and trusting that you're manifesting the person that you're desiring and that all is going to work out for you so if you guys chose deck number two this is what's happening next in your love life so i'm really excited to see what you guys have to say about that there's definitely some endings here um, that i'm seeing some moving away some departures but i'm feeling like this is part of your calling to meet this next person in your life with the judgment here the two of cups and everything that is pretty much laid out even if you are with a person and have to separate for them to evolve into this person regardless you are attracting a greater version of yourself in another person this is what's happening in, in the next chapter of your love life so if you guys chose deck number two don't forget to comment down below subscribe if you haven't already like the video if you haven't already i'm moving on to deck number three all right if you guys chose deck number three this is your reading and what is next in your love life or what's coming next in your love life okay accelerated motion material and spiritual prosperity Okay, let's get some more information. All right, this card just fell out. Ten of Wands. What's the current energy for those who chose deck three for this? Those who chose the Rose Quartz Crystal. What is the current energy in love? What is the current energy in love for deck three? One more card. Thank you. The higher font. Okay. So you guys could be a Taurus. You don't have to be. You also could be, you could be a Virgo as well. We have a lot of fire energy here too. Current energy and love. Look at all this wand energy. So Leo Sagittarius. 
Aries, current in love. What's going on for deck three? Thank you. The tower, Scorpio energy, and the page of cups. Okay, you guys could have definitely just met somebody, could have just met someone, or could be in a relationship because we have the higher font here. Okay, we have a lot of wands, lots of confliction, but we also do have the four of wands and the tower. So let's see what other cards came out for you. Peer, joyful, friendships, and loving help. So I feel like you're on a verge of attracting a lot of people who are very passionate about you. Okay, so ascend. I connect to oneness and expand my awareness. Okay, so you're expanding your awareness on love and then we also have the fourth chakra which is the heart chakra and community okay so what's next in love it definitely seems like this could be some type of marriage okay for those of you who are in a relationship i feel more drawn to this deck being in a relationship now i also have the death card here too at the bottom so let's get one card for what's next in their love life okay eight of cups okay Eight of Cups and the Ace of Cups. So I definitely sense that there is in your current energy a lot of conflict. The tower, lots of tower moments, maybe walking away, um, trying to build a relationship also. Um, you could have also just met somebody. I'm sensing that there is love coming in your life. Now let's just see if you guys are on a, in a relationship. Okay, we're just going to use the major arcanas for if you're in a relationship. If they're in a relationship, can you give me a card, please? Okay, queen of wands. All right. All right, I see that most of you are not in a relationship here because this came out in the reverse. And then we also have the page of pentacles. Okay, so I definitely feel like most of you are not in a relationship or maybe have just gotten out of one with the ten of wands because we do have some endings here with the tower cup walking away which is letting go um you're leading towards an accelerated motion here i feel like you have so much love and passion that's in your heart and you actually are very open to a connection like i feel like your energy is pretty open here with the four four chakra here and also community i feel like what's next in love is that this person um, in your love life, whether you met them or not, is a part of your community. They're part of your soul tribe. There will be marriage. I see people coming together. I see your beliefs kind of being in alignment with each other. Okay, what's coming next in love for deck three? The high priest. What's coming next in love for deck three? Thank you. And we have the nine of pentacles. Okay, at the bottom of the deck, we do have someone coming in here with the Knight of Wands. All right. You are manifesting another person, whoever this person is. They're very passionate about you. What's next in love for deck three? Engagement. And at the bottom, we have It's Too Soon, New Love. A new person has stirred your romantic feelings. So yeah, I definitely feel like either you guys just met someone, okay? And there's a lot of passion here. Um, maybe after you walked away from someone and I also have the engagement, your love life is ascending. Yeah, engagement, that's what I was saying. Like there is an ascension here that's happening in your next phase of your love life, whether you're in a relationship or not, there's engagement, there's wedding, there's community, there's service here, okay? Now, in your current energy, we have the Page of Cups. So there is like someone in your current energy, but I'm sensing what's next in love is a knight. So this would be like the next level. So either if you're in a relationship, you're going to the next level here with more passion, more of a deeper commitment from the page to the knight. Or for those of you who are single, this is someone that you're manifesting. Okay, you've walked away from something. The Eight of Cups is here. Let's see what's coming next in love. Okay, so this is a community. This is bringing people together, whichever relationship. Yeah, the sun is here. So this is good. This feels really, really good here. I feel like your love life is getting ready to ascend to higher heights here. We have the 10 of wands. We have the tower and the eight of cups. Let's clarify why this tower came out. Okay, Scorpio, you can definitely be a Scorpio if you resonated with this deck. Thank you. 
three of pentacles so yeah this is definitely expanding okay this is definitely going to expand if you just met someone you're you're going to definitely expand with them i'm seeing next in love and if you haven't this next person you're expanding okay four of swords five of pentacles some of you are really focused on your finances and focus on just kind of getting your stuff together okay that's what's happening next in your love life as well with the four of swords just taking taking some time to really think you know before jumping right back into another relationship um for those of you who are single okay i'm seeing an ace of cups come in here why is this here for deck three for what's next in love why is this ace of cups here two of cups yeah so you're attracting a soulmate in your in your next chapter here okay we also have the four of cups in pisces I also feel like many of you are going to have a, res a revelation. If you're are currently in a relationship right now, you could definitely, I, I see that this could be a soulmate connection. You can have m multiple soulmates, okay? Um, but I'm just seeing there's a few of you here. Now, those of you who are attracting a new relationship, uh, what you're waiting for is just f finding that fulfillment within yourself with the Four of Cups, okay? This is usually dissatisfied in the moon. We have Scorpio energy, um, twice but we also have pisces energy again i believe that's the every deck has had the moon okay so there's still there's still more to know about yourself before attracting uh, this next person it seems like give me some information on what's next in their love life thank you page of pentacles yeah so it's going to be a solid commitment we do have a king coming in so i do see that you could have multiple people coming in around you um if you're in a relationship maybe you're noticing that people notice you more okay but we do have this page of pentacles coming out with the king of wands right under it so you would be manifesting someone who is like a lot more mature they're very creative they're multifaceted um there's a lot of adventure here there's a lot of passion a lot of energy it's ex it's going to accelerate pretty quickly is what i'm getting because we have the queen and the king okay and we have another king here so I definitely feel like there's going to be commitment coming in here. Let's look at the timeline of this for deck three. Timeline. What's coming next? One card. Thank you. Yeah, the magician. Yeah, you're manifesting new love. Okay. So you either manifested this new person coming in they're ve or they're very, very close. Okay. So you guys are manifesting this and you're manifesting an engagement or you're manifesting a marriage. Okay. That's some of you as well. Some of you are manifesting something very, very solid. One more card in love for deck three. It's crazy because you have a lot of people. Okay. Um, unrequited love. It's, it's crazy. It's pulling me in two different directions every time. Okay. So there definitely could be some confusion in your love life because we have there's not enough attraction or chemistry to keep this relationship going. Unrequited love. Give your relationship a chance. So some of you could be going back and forth. And maybe that's why I keep saying in, if you're in a relationship or if you're not. It's like if you're halfway in a relationship, it's still coming up as you being kind of by yourself. Let's see where they are currently. Deck three. One card. Page. Yeah, Page of Swords. So I definitely feel like there's so much more to discover about yourself. And this is also affecting your love life. So in this next chapter, you're becoming the Queen of Swords. You're becoming the Queen of Wands so that you can manifest a king or a, a queen. Okay, because the pages, this is what you're coming up as. The pages are pretty much young. Maybe you haven't had many relationships. Okay, that's something too that that could be coming up with the page of swords, but I'm seeing that you're growing into much more of a mature person with just knowing what you want. Okay, so there's so much conflict around a commitment and that's what I'm picking up. Okay, work on your partnership. So some of you who are in relationships you are trying to work on the partnership there could have been a lot of things that have transpired you could have walked away got back together okay some of you i'm hearing even could be married or divorced like that's something that's coming up too because we have the justice card we have so many different emotions so i feel like your love life has been pretty accelerated 
Okay, let's get some more energy. Give me the energy of where they're headed in their love life. Okay, what's next in love for deck three? What's next in love? Conflict and defeat, discontent and boredom. Yeah. So that's what's happening right now is the next the next relationship I'm just seeing like the person that they keep showing me that they're they're trying to bring in and manifest is someone that's going to bring a lot of excitement to you you would never get bored but I definitely feel like if you guys are talking to someone or maybe have been in a relationship maybe it you're coming to a place where you're just not you're not very satisfied or you're not as satisfied as you could be okay and there's definitely conflict here to see if there's enough chemistry to to keep this going but as far as what's coming next in your love life, I'm definitely sensing that you do have options coming in. Okay, you have many options. You're manifesting a new love. You're manifesting someone who wants to give you more. Um, what's next in their love life for deck three? Yeah, but we have the crown chakra. Okay, this is going to expand you. So this is the seven. This is also the highest chakra. This is all about your connection with spirit. Okay, you're following your intuition is what's going to lead you to this this person that you're you're longing for. Okay, give me more information on this next person. Temptation. Yeah. See, there's going to be people around you, but the biggest thing that I'm sensing for you is your foundation being grounded. Being grounded in yourself and then also being grounded in your relationships. Um in this next place spirit is going to bring you someone in. And I just see that they are, they do have an independence to them. And I'm also seeing that they are pretty grounded. Okay. All right. Next in the love life for deck three. Let go. Yeah. So I'm definitely sensing now, because I mean, it's, it's pretty much a lot of energy of letting go right now okay with everything happening uh with the retrogrades with uh, the world changing i definitely feel like there's a new like new everything even 2021 was representing a new start so it says i surrender and allow myself to grieve so i'm definitely sensing that some of you are being led to let go of something that's bringing you grief and release the weight of the world off of your shoulders okay so I'm sensing that spirit wants you to have hope in this next version of your love life. I feel like there's a lot of conflict here. And as soon as you make the decision to be open to new, I'm seeing that it is coming in. But it feels like there's a little bit of a resistance because maybe you want to give this a chance. Okay. Maybe you do want to give it a chance because there is a connection here. But this is where you have to trust that you cannot limit the universe what we think is happy and the best thing we've ever had we think that until we expand you know if we grow up in one house our entire life and it's 1500 square feet we swear it's the biggest house in the world it's not it, to us it is until we see something what bigger and then we're like oh wow this expanded my consciousness i didn't know there's houses that are 5000 square foot i didn't know there was this same thing in your love life you're being asked to expand what you believe so that you can attract because your your energy it's like you're focusing on in the next part of your life on what you want so you can attract that even if it's in your current relationship or past relationships it's like what do you want because i do see that making a decision going back and forth and holding on you know i'm definitely sensing that all right any words of advice I'm just seeing beautiful celebrations coming forth um, with following your intuition and just trusting that if it if this person is meant for you or if it's meant for you, it will happen. Yeah, we have death. Okay, Scorpio energy again popping through. So following your heart and following the truth, because when you do that, you're rewarded. So I'm definitely seeing like you're in the crossroads with making a decision one foot in, one foot out. But you're being asked to release like the weight of keeping it together or trying to make it work um, with people who are not on the same frequency as you. And I'm definitely seeing what's next in your love life is just making decisions on what you want. So you do have a couple of people that you are manifesting, but if you're not looking in that direction, you won't see them. So I'm definitely sensing that's why it's important for you to make a decision on what you want in love so that you can attract that. Okay.
suffering and silence, deception and envy. All right. All right, what can they do in the meantime? Last message for deck four, what's next in love? Energy work, nourish your temple. So take care of yourself, okay? Be the best version of yourself that you can be so that you can attract the best version in another person. Spend time with friends. So yeah, this is definitely good. Clearing your energy, balancing your chakras. We see the crown chakras up here, okay? We even have the base chakra. It's interesting because you have the base and the crown. You have one to seven. So this is a need for getting grounded and centered so that your relationships can work out in the way that you want them to. And I see that what's next in love, like if I'm looking not in the next, next chapter, when I just shuffle through your, your book of love, I'm seeing that there's marriage, there's community, there's like so much that you're longing for, family, uh, prosperity with a partner, like it's here. Uh, but I'm definitely seeing balance and, and keeping this aligned and grounded what's most important even with the base chakra this is all about your relationships okay so there's there's some there's some clearing but i'm just really drawn to the higher font and it just keeps reminding me of what do you want what do you believe you deserve okay and you're able to create this so i see that this is happening next in your love life it's just some decisions that you're gonna have to make with is this fulfilling me or am i getting bored am i just not am I not content? Okay. Sometimes it's us. It's not the other person. So I definitely see that you're going to be learning that in the next stages to come, but it's a beautiful journey to have in putting yourself first is the most important thing. You have a lot of beautiful connections. I don't see it's hard for you to make connections. Um, it's just the right connections. So if you guys chose deck number three, this is your reading and what is next in love. I'm hoping I was able to bring you some clarity and bring you some love in your life. So if you guys did receive that message, you can go ahead and comment down below. You can like the video. In the meantime, I'm going to head out. Thank you so much for letting me guide you guys on your journey as a spiritual advisor. It is my honor to do so. Love and light.